Hey guys, this is Bharat Baj with Phonorino.com and this is the Lenovo Vibe Z2 Pro that we have here. The recently launched Quad ST flagship phablet from the Chinese manufacturer is packed with features, a lot of features, but one feature stands out in our opinion and that's the ability to change to Google stock UI whenever needed. So this is one option that most manufacturers don't provide. So for example, Samsung has its own TouchWiz. Uh, HTC has its own Sense, LG has its own UI and even Lenovo has its own UI as you can see this is just a scrolling list of apps and widgets and pretty much like iOS in its uh, tendency to work but yeah that's how Lenovo's UI is and it's tailored for the Chinese market. Most of uh, the custom UIs are actually very very uh, more feature rich than the stock UI and always have a number of features that the stock UI doesn't have but stock Android UI has improved steadily and companies giving the option to change to that UI is actually very bold uh, and experimental. So anyway let's see how we can change the default UI into the Google stock UI on the Lenovo Vibe Z2 Pro. So as you can see I'm in the settings right now going into the about page you can see the uh, version of the software that it's running on so Android 4.4.2 you won't get all the goodness of uh, Android Lollipop right away but you have the 4.4.2 skin pretty much the same as Google intends it to be on Nexus devices that's what you get when you get the Google stock UI so that's the version information you saw usually when you hit the build number a number of times for example this is the software version number if you tap it five times you'll unlock the developer settings so that's needed to open and choose the system stock UI that you want to change so going into the version and hitting the uh, software version number will enable the developer mode that in turn you can access from the system settings menu here inside developer options you can see the first thing itself is a Lenovo experimental feature and that's the switch system UI style so let's show it to you how it works it's it's very simple just hit this and you can see that the user data will remain but the UI style will change you can see everything remains the same but the UI changes completely so I'm going to show you how complete the UI changes so it just uh, says uh, switch the UI and we hit OK and it reboots it reboots and goes into a mode in which it completely changes the UI so there will be a green circle and saying like working and so on so there you go it's saying switching to google ui style that's the lenovo recovery doing the work so at the rom level it is changing the ui so it seems like they have a set of files for the lenovo ui and a set of files for the usual google stock ui so people wanting to choose it will be actually doing the copy paste of those files between the directories which the system is taking care of in the recovery. So anyway, going into the uh, UI, you can see the lock screen has not changed. The lock screen will not be stock, but the UI will be. As you can see, now it's completely like a Nexus. You have all the uh, widgets gone, everything is gone, and you have the usual app list and the home screen. So you can even see how stock it is. All right, there you go. You can see that it's, it's exactly the same as the Android AOSP skin for an uh, 4.4.2. Even the settings has changed and going into the about page, you can see everything looks different, but of course it's the same phone. So that's the UI change that you can do on the Lenovo Vibe C2 Pro. It's a really cool option for people wanting to experience vanilla Android on a really powerful phone especially at the uh, flagship status is something cool you don't even you don't even have to buy a nexus if you want just the stock ui and not the updates lenovo says they will be updating as soon as uh, possible but uh, we're not counting on that you won't get updates but you will get the stock ui and everything else that's associated with the vibe c2 pro you have all the features and you also have the stock ui so there you go that's a quick look at how to enable the stock UI on the Lenovo Vibe Z2 Pro. 
Thanks for watching and let us know what you think in the comment section below. Do hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already for more videos like these. Again, thanks for watching.